All right, so welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing Forest Shuffle by Lookout Games. It seems like just yesterday, since I uh, last uh, looked at another game from Lookout Games called Attawa. I really enjoyed Attawa, so I, when I saw this, another game from Lookout Games that was animal themed, I was like, I definitely want to get this at some point. And I fortunately saw it today at the board game store, and I was like, oh, it was meant to be. Let's get this game. So let's take a look and see what's inside of this game. Okay, well, I like to skip roll books like usual. Okay, so that's the roll book. What's, what else do we got here? Looks like we got a, like a little board to put the cards on because it's a card game, right? So it's nice and it's really long. It's actually pretty long, but it's quite beautiful to be sure. Is it double-sided? Yes, it is double-sided. So we got that side and then we've got this animal side, which is probably not meant to be played on, but it still looks really cool nonetheless. With all the different animals. Well, you know, some of the animals. Ooh, there's even a European badger in the game, too. Well, that's cool. Okay, so that's... There's that. And then we've got a score pad here. And then we've got this insert here, which I'm not a huge fan of at all. But we've got the cards. You know what? You know what? I think this might be a game that I get rid of the insert... What are these? Hold on. What? There's another insert here. There's another... Okay, well, I don't think we'll be utilizing the insert, but I have a better idea of what to do with this game. In fact, there's probably too many for one. I'll probably have to use two. Let me grab them. If you saw my Dice Tower video, I have new card trays from the Dice Tower. And so I was just trying to think of what game I should put these into. Because I've only got four of them. And well, let's see here. You know, would half of these fit in, the, in, in, in one and then the other half in the other? I'm not sure. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's, before we show you all the cards, I just want to see if, if this will work or not. Hold on. It's paper. Oh, okay. That would be nice if they were all paper, because this is so much easier to pull than plastic. Okay, so we got some cards. We'll look at them momentarily. I want to see if, if these will fit not only in the trays, but in the box as well. I don't know, because we also have to get that board in there too, so it depends. It just depends. Paper is also probably a little louder than plastic, but it's definitely quicker, to be sure. Okay, so before we show you the cards, let's just see how these are going to fit. I am, I am really curious. Okay, well, there's not much room for more. I might have to actually use three. If I have to use three, it's not a huge, huge deal. But uh, let's just see how the lid closes and how much space there is. Oh, that's, that's already. Okay, so here we go. Let's see how much space we got. Uh, there's not much space more, is there? There's a... There's still a little bit of space, but not like a ton. Probably not enough. So I might have to. I might have to. I might have to use three. Just, just cause you know. I have to use three. That's fine. At least I'm being. They're being used on something, right? So let's. Let's do that. Let me grab the other one. I think we're gonna have to use all three. I just want to see how this fits in the box, and then. We will be right back to, obviously, um, showing you guys the cards. Hold on. And then... Oh, and then... We'll just put those there. 
let's see how this goes. Okay. Well, we gotta make we gotta put them all the way on first, so let's do that. Let's at least get it on the right way. And then we'll put them in here. There's a little bit of space. Should be enough space for the board. Although I don't think there's enough space. There's not enough space for three. Okay. So that means we have to see if these will fit or not. Hold on. We have to see if they'll fit into two now. As if they do, and you guys manage to get some of these dice trays, then maybe you can do the same thing. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do here. if this will fit or not. It fits. Yeah? It fits. Okay. Let's see if it will fit. Yeah, okay. So then, will the, will the, uh, score pad has to be able to fit too, right? Okay. Let's see here. Will this fit with this? Oh, just barely fits. It just, it just, it just fits. Okay, that'll work then. I only have to use two. Okay, cool. I like that. Um, yeah, okay, cool. All right, so now you guys want to see the cards, obviously. Sorry that, that took so long. Um, hopefully, if it bothered you, hopefully you can just, uh, you just skipped ahead to the uh, actual cards. Uh, being seen but yeah let's obviously show the cards now before we show these let's let's take a look at these that have the fox on them because there's a few of them okay so we've got rules here or stuff here information um on the different animals i guess so this is information on on how the animals work in the game i think maybe I don't want to show too many of these because because I want to show you guys the animals, obviously, and the species names of the animals, obviously. But what are these? A cave. There's four. Ca there's five caves here. I forget how many people can play this game. Is it is it five people that can play or or four? Hold on. Let's take a look. I don't usually look at rule books, but I want to see how many people can play the game. Yep, five people. Five people can play this game. Okay, good. That makes sense. So I guess everybody gets one cave then or something because there's five caves. All right. Now it's time for the plants and animals. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can get a better look at everything. So I can leave my hands, to let my hands relax here. Okay. So this is a species of butterfly, the large tortoiseshell butterfly. Fire salamander, bullfinch, tree frog, chaffinch, stag beetle, goshawk, wood ant, great spotted woodpecker, common toad, Eurasian jay, tree ferns, ooh, a tawny owl, wild strawberries, a silver washed uh, something, butterfly. Blackberries, Purple Emperor, Butterfly, Moss, another Butterfly, Fireflies, oh, you've seen some of these already, oh, a Hedgehog, haven't seen that yet, Peacock Butterfly, Red Squirrel, you've seen these already, Chaffinch, you've seen these, You've seen all of these. Ooh, 
a chanterelle, some sort of mushroom or something, right? A fungus. A mole, that's new. Goss, we, we, we already saw the goshawk. Great spotted woodpecker. A fly agaric, haven't seen that yet. Hold on, let's move these aside. Okay, penny bud. We've seen these. Tree frog. I've seen the other one as well. So far, looks like we've seen all of these. Ooh, Paracel Mushroom. Tree Ferns, I think we saw that one though. Nothing new here. Still nothing new, still nothing new, still nothing new. So there's gonna be a lot of combinations of stuff. You're gonna, potentially anybody, everybody will probably have the same stuff, potentially. Or somebody might go heavy on something. They might have a lot of woodpeckers or something like that, or have a lot of mushrooms or something like that. But, oh, here we go. We got some trees now. We got a beech tree, several beech trees. Looks like they do all, they're all exactly the same. So you got to see the beech trees because they all are exactly the same. Now we've got a sycamore tree. Okay, how many of those do we got? Well, we got a, several of those. Now we've got a Douglas fir tree. Okay, some several of those. Then we've got horse chestnut tree. And then we've got a linden tree. Okay, that's half the cards. We just got one more amount. Sorry if it took a while to obviously get to the point where I show you guys all the cards, but I just I just couldn't wait. I had to see if it was all gonna fit. So I had to had to see. Oh, we got another horse chestnut here. Do they have the exact same stuff on it? That's the question. Did the other one? Yeah, they have the exact same stuff. I'm just looking at the other ones now. Okay, so nothing new here yet. These are all the same. Oh, we got a Winter is Coming card from another stand. There's a few of these, but they might have... Yeah. Yeah, they're the same. There's a few of them. Oh, so we got some more stuff that's new. European hair and a European badger. I told you that's the European badger, because the American badger has a little bit of a different head shape. Ooh, a bat. The Greater Horseshoe Bat. Cool. Red Fox. Raccoon, European hare, wild boar, another species of bat, a brown long-eared bat. Isn't that a beauty? I love that, well, those long ears. Roe deer, another one of those bats again, same species. Ooh, another species of bat, the barbastel bat. Okay, cool. Three different species of bats so far. Ooh, a brown bear. Let's see if you guys can see that better. Hopefully. Let's take some of these out of my hand. Actually, my hand's getting tired already. Okay, we've got a beech marten. Okay. Hold on, let me start the knock everything over here. There we go. That's a little better. All right. Yeah, card trays are gonna be definitely more, more useful, I think, for this game. Okay. Nothing new there. Ooh, it links. Cool. We've got a gnat. A violet carpenter bee. A follow deer, that's new. Red deer, follow deer again, just opposite sides. Nothing new here. Ooh, a European fat dormouse. Okay, cool. Yeah, we already saw the, uh, pretty sure we already saw the greater horseshoe bat, but in case we didn't, there we go. 
A wolf. That's the first wolf we've seen. A beach. A, a betch. A steams. A betch steams. Bat. Pretty sure we haven't seen that one yet either. A squeaker. Oh, there's the squeaker. There's a squeaker. Seen already seen these. Yep, seen that, seen that. Nothing new here. That's probably everything that's new, but we will double check just in case. Let's see. Um, no, we got, but we've seen these before on the other cards. Wood ant. Pretty sure we saw the wood ant and the. Definitely the Chawfinch, the Stag Beetle, and the Tawny Owl, Fire Salamander. Ooh, I have not seen the Pond Turtle. That is the first Pond Turtle I've seen. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Maybe we saw one another? I don't know. Yeah, there's another Pond Turtle. Okay. Oh, and we definitely have some trees here we haven't seen yet. We've got the Oak Tree. Can't have a game like this without the Oak Tree, honestly. And then we've got the Silver Fur. We've got a birch tree. These are all the birch. Okay. And we've seen beech trees before. And the lindens before. Okay, so that's everything. So that's everything in this box. I hope you guys liked this unboxing video. Don't forget to leave me a like if you guys liked it. Sorry if it was a little longer than normal. But uh, now... Now you can see that these will definitely have some use in the future, especially for this game. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.